top of the afternoon to you ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Golsh Hay Farms. I'm your host, Dane. But all seriousness, welcome back. Thanks for clicking back. Today we are hauling the hay that we hauled in the last episode. Um, we got some good rain. I got about an inch at the house. Some areas north of us uh, got dumped on like nine inches up in Canyon Lake. I only got an inch and I'm only 15 miles away from where they got nine inches. And that's all rock and it just runs. We're gonna use this uh, tractor hauler to haul the hay uh, since we bail four foot bales and the inside width of this trailer is 96 inches theoretically. The hay should squeeze in there nice and tight. This will haul eight on the bottom, three in the middle of the row. It'll be perfect. Uh, my dad's on the way to unhook the tractor, the baling rig, so we can use that to load up. And uh, I've got to get some fuel in this bird. We should be good to go. Oh, nice and toasty in here. How many miles till empty? I know I ran it low. 36 miles. Cool. Um, if you saw in my more recent episode, my last one I posted, uh, you will know that this trailer is becoming quite handy for us. I'm, I'm just curious to see how well it actually does today, uh, hauling the hay. I mean, it's not going to be like the most ideal hay hauler because we can only really squeeze. You could double stack it since uh, weight isn't an issue. Double stack it and double stack it so you can have double stacks on top. And we're thinking about putting a deck on top of this trailer to get even more capacity for like hauling hay and putting our buckets on from the tractor and stuff like that. And we're going to keep putting this trailer to the test. So far so good though. I cleaned up for y'all, did y'all notice? I was like, getting a little raggedy there in quarantine. Yeah, so we got a lot of excited things coming. Uh, we're going to have to start getting fertilizer out on a couple places. Uh, we'll try to get some video of that. Might be trying to do that this week actually and we've got rain coming i mean we were forecasted for almost probably two weeks out that uh we have rain forecasted so pretty decent chances uh, once the rain lets up once the chances go away uh we're probably gonna be busier and i'll get out with uh, trying to cut some hay so kind of stop and get some go-go juice already i'll build up heading to the hay patch pulling in here hopefully uh can't see if it is trees, but hopefully dad's here stacking hay. Oh yeah, there he is right there. Already on hook, stacking hay. He's probably on the phone. Nope, he's just about done stacking the hay though. So we'll just get these 11 out of this field and hook dad back up to the baling rig and he's just gonna drive home. Oh, I might've screwed up here. Yep, sure did. Moment of truth to see how wide this trailer really is. Add to the bone. Uh. So there you have it. Two four foot bales fit inside the rails of this uh, tractor hauler, we call it. Whoa. 
Well, there she blows, folks. 11 and a half. I don't even know how heavy it is, but it's not that heavy. He was even able to squeeze that little one on the neck there. Help dad hook back up real quick. That fits pretty good on there. Gloves all sucks. Yeah, that's why I like these. Yeah, we do. That's the plug for the splitter in the back, straight to the remote. Time to get in travel mode. Already, we're all set. Dad's gonna, Dad's gonna run the tractor back on the road and I'm gonna get ahead of him, unload this hay, and by the time he's uh, back, I can run him over here to get his pickup. Be perfect timing. Stalled it again. Go close this gate real quick. <laughs> Little terrorist. Hi! <laughs> Little dog scare me. Well, this old pick him up truck is pulling like a dream. It's really not that heavy of a load. It really does help. That trailer's like 3,500 pounds or 4,000 pounds, whatever it is. So uh, let's call it, they're probably 900 pound bales. Yeah, right at 10,000, 9,900 pounds. So we're probably at 13, five. Plus that little one, probably a couple hundred pounds. It's a, uh, it's just nice, you know. It's fun and all to pull the big 40 footers and a load full of hay, but uh, it's, uh, it's hard on the equipment, you know. But uh, Dad should probably be halfway on his trek. It's about 17 miles, the route he was going to take. So by the time I get there unstrapped, straps put away and unloaded and parked, he should be pulling in the gate pretty quick. So. just put sunscreen on because my wife's been getting on me about doing it which I should be doing it and uh, I shaved this morning and uh, kind of stings an aftershave or something made it back bales didn't even move trailer did great freaking awesome I mean <laughs> how do you beat it so uh Ryan's Mahindra's over there we're gonna go grab that unload these bales and uh, wait for dad but first I gotta get a thumbnail flying everywhere today. The Thunderbirds flew over the house around three o'clock today. They're doing their uh, tour to pay respects for all the uh, first responders of COVID-19. I think the Blue Angels are doing it too. Traveling the country. Pretty cool. Glad they're doing that. They're real American, you know. Strap maintenance or strap organization. It's the best kind of organization. Ryan's field's greening up real nice. Hopefully, uh, Friday we can get some fertilizer down on it. Uh, got something pretty cool to share with you. It'll be in another episode, but uh, another video. I reached out to a uh, GPS company and uh, they're willing to help out the channel. So, uh, more details to come on that, but. Uh, uh, when I mean GPS for like spraying and fertilizing and things of the nature, so that's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> the seat leaks down after some time. There we go.
deal. Heck of a deal. All done. Two bale spear is the way to go. FYI. Truck looks much better without that half the bed taken up by the fuel tank. I kept the toolbox FYI, but I finally did sell the transfer tank. Plus it's rolling on some snazzy 35s. What you think about that? Saucy. That trailer really doesn't look that long next to the truck. So freaking handy, man. We're gonna do everything with it. I bet it hauls the skids here pretty well too. Whenever I decide to get one, whenever I can afford one without my wife killing me. One day though, they're so handy too. I think a skid strip be wide enough to drive up these, oh yeah, all day long, right? I need to put those wires in a protective coating and kind of suck them up in there. But that harness I did put on worked great for that plug so I could hook all the implements in. Snazzy, snazzy, snazzy. The weight of that bale put that board down. Hot dog, that one too. I guess now would be the time to uh, get some screws. I don't have any though. <laughs> but I might have Ryan's cousin or uncle weld those straps on like we have on those two flatbeds. Probably can't see, but that's dad off in the distance right there. We're also thinking about having his uncle or cousin put a deck on this thing if they're willing to do it. If you watch this, Danny or Daniel, we want you to build a deck on this trailer. But anyway, uh, eight foot wide, the same width as the inside rail of this trailer. Uh, just give us some more room to put some hay up there or whatever. We'll relocate the spare. I mean, this tray's so dang wide in here, you can put the spare in there, no problem. So, heck of a deal. I think that'd be a good idea. And then we might figure out a way to fasten our buckets up there and really lock them in tight, I don't know. Might have to get creative with that locking mechanism, but I've been thinking about it just to really secure the tractor in there nice and tight, so. How about that ride in? Oh. It didn't take you, that wasn't quite an hour, was it? Exactly an hour. Really? Tossing, we need to replace that tire. I blew that one going down the road doing 20 miles an hour. And so we replaced it with this one. And uh, we're thinking we're just gonna go ahead and put the same tire on that side. Call it good so we don't have to mess with it. All right, folks, well, that's all we have today. Just wanted to show you how capable the little trailer was to haul some hay. It worked out great. Um, got all our equipment back. We'll be knocking out the patch behind me next. And then we're going to start making our move up towards kind of between here and San Marcos. So anyway, uh, that's all I got. Gulch Hay Farms loves you. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video. We love you. Say bye, Dad. Later. Peace.